Let's watch the magic of the sun on these diapers that are poopy stained. Stains are gone and they look brand new practically. Crazy. Sun bleaching is something we've been doing for thousands of years. But why does this happen the way it does? Short answer is because sunlight carries a whole bunch of energy and the molecules that are giving these stains their color can absorb some of that energy. And when they do, they undergo chemical reactions. And these chemical reactions, well, they turn them into other molecules that aren't colored anymore. But the long answer is a little more interesting. So let's talk about it. So light, you may have heard, comes in a spectrum of energies. Light that comes from the sun covers this full spectrum. And when it gets to Earth, most of the high energy stuff like the gamma and the X-rays get stopped by the upper atmosphere, but that UV light and that visible light, it still makes its way through. There are three things that can happen depending upon what molecules it runs into. Either the light gets reflected, it gets absorbed, or it just passes through with nothing happening. Which of these three things happens depends on the light that we're talking about and the thing that's getting hit. So let's talk about the stains in these diapers. Stains from diapers probably contain a lot of stercobilin and urobilin. And if you look at these two molecules, you'll see that somewhere in their structure, there is a series of two lines and then one line, then two lines and one line, just kind of connected to each other in a chain. In chemistry, we refer to this as a conjugated system. This system is like an antenna for light visible light and UV light. So when you have those systems in a molecule and visible light hits that molecule, some of the visible light will get absorbed, like the green part or the blue part, but some of it will get reflected. And the combination of the two that gets reflected and absorbed is what ultimately gives you the color that you see. But UV light does something different. Whereas visible light is like drinking a cup of tea when you want a little pick me up in the afternoon, UV light is like drinking a case of Red Bull. So when the UV light hits these systems in these molecules, these conjugated systems, they're like, oh, <laughs> whoa, okay, word. I gotta go react with something. And it triggers chemical reactions between these conjugated systems and virtually anything else that's around, but most commonly water and oxygen in the air. And all of that, makes some of those double bonds go away. And once you destroy some of those double bonds, it's very much like bending the antenna on like a TV or a car, if you're old enough to remember that. You remove a link in the chain and without the link in the chain, it can't absorb the visible light anymore. And once it can't absorb the visible light, you don't have any color anymore. Side note though, this doesn't work on stains that don't come from these kinds of molecules. If it's a rust stain, sunlight ain't got nothing on that. I could not really explain all of color to you in this video, but there's a really good video on it by ACS Reactions, probably the best video on color I've seen. If you enjoyed this one, definitely appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you really wanna support what I'm doing, consider hitting me up on Patreon or Kofi. But until next time, skim thug.